finance guru. Uh, she is live and she wants to speak to Bia France. Please pay close attention. Good evening, my dear sister, and welcome to the program. Yeah, good evening, uh, Mazi Kechuku. No, Am I name? coming out clear? Loud and clear. The whole world is listening. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for picking my call. You're welcome. My name is Nena. My name is Nena Nayanya. By the special grace of Chuku Okika Biyama, I am the head of finance of indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. I welcome you all this evening to our live broadcast today, the 8th of December 2021, and a Wednesday. I have one or two things to say, but before that, I want to commend every one of us that are working very hard for the restoration of Biafra. Following the events of the last few days, we have all read about the current situation of our leader, Union Dumazi Namdekanu, in DSS, and nobody is happy about it. Only in do life is in danger right now. They have denied our leader food for some days. They have denied him access to medication to see his doctors. And they have taken his blood 21 times. This is not good. And we know what that means. Taking somebody's blood 21 times. Now you start asking yourself, what for? Why are they doing that? The Nigerian government is violating its own law and constitution. They are violating the fundamental right, human rights of our leader. Therefore, the condition of our leader must be brought to the attention of the whole world, dear friends. We must all write about it, tweet about it every day. How many of us have tweeted about the bad condition of our leader today in TSS? How many? How many of us have written about it? I follow people on Twitter every day and retweet. How many of us do that? Why do we have to allow ourselves to be distracted from the main thing that we are supposed to be talking and writing about every day? If you don't have any Twitter account, try and open one now, not tomorrow. We must inform our councillors, our representative ministers, or in our respective countries where we reside, friends of Biafra and all lovers of freedom around the world. We must speak up. We must speak up so that people will hear our voice. We must continue this, continue disturbing them until the DSS allow our leader access to his lawyer, I mean to his doctor. Stop starving him and stop taking his blood. Enough is enough. This should be our main concern. This should be what we should be writing in all our media. This is what we should be treating every blessed day. But some of us are allowing ourselves to be distracted. This issue must be our main focus. And not topics that are not even necessary. We must do everything to make sure that our leader is released unconditionally. And he must be given access to his doctors. This should be our main concern. We should be talking about it, shouting about it, writing about it, broadcasting about it. This should be our concern, our top priority. That's the way it's supposed to be. Well, how many of us are doing it? How many of us are allowing ourselves to be distracted? How many of us have left the main topic we are supposed to be talking and discussing of something irrelevant? We must retrace our steps, dust ourselves up, and do the right thing. Our leader is where he is not supposed to be. He is
is in the enemy camp. That's what we should be fighting of. That's what we should be talking about, debating about, discussing, writing, tweeting. That should be our priority. If it is not, please go back to the drawing board and let's do the right thing. Every IPOB family member, all friends of Biafra around the world, let us do the right thing. Because some of us have been distracted. I want to commend all those that are working very hard in this our quest for freedom in truth and honesty. Our IPOB logo must continue to be the same. The main focus, consistent, determination, and discipline always. In the same vein, I commend all those that are contributing financially towards Biafra restoration. Because freedom is not free. It's not cheap. Somebody must support it. Somebody must finance it. And we are doing very great. But we have to continue. We cannot let go. We need funds for everything. For our legal case, to help our people back home, to release our children that are all in detention. Those that they pick up in the streets and take them to the northern part of Nigeria, we need to bear them out. And these need funds. I commend every one of you that have been contributing in one way or the other financially. As you all know, we have a new ESN account. All ESN payments you go to the approved account by the IPOB leadership. The account name is Biafra Freedom LLC. I repeat, the account name is Biafra Freedom LLC. The bank name is JP Morgan Chase Bank. Why the website is www.ipobworldwide.org. I repeat, the website www.ipobworldwide.org. Do not pay to any other account floating around because I see so many accounts floating around. Pay to the one approved by IPOB leadership. If you have any questions, ask your financial officers and coordinators for more guidance. I have seen some websites floating around on Facebook. This is wrong. You cannot say you belong to us and you are floating an account and website. That is not what we are supposed to use. We don't need that confusion. Please. It's either you are with us or against us. You cannot be in with in between. Anybody paying into any other account not approved by IPOD, IPOB leadership simply means they are on their own and are not with us. Very simple. Please note, from henceforth, any country or zones that withholds the monthly donation contributed by members, instead of remitting the funds contributed, I will announce the name of the country and coordinator on air, as was the, our usual practice. Some people are withholding the funds that members have contributed, and you keep it. Here in IPOB, we do not save. As it comes, we spend it out. People will make contributions and some people will keep it or they decide to pay where they like. It has to stop. This is freedom fighting. We must be focused and mentally fit to face what is in front of us. Now, I want, to, I want everybody to listen to this, what I'm going to say now, very, very important. Some people are claiming that they are IPOB family members, but I need to read to you the criteria that will qualify you to call yourself an IPOB family member. 
for anyone to claim that he or she is an IPOB family member, you must fulfill the following criteria. Number one, you must abide by the rules and regulations laid down by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyendu Maze Namde Kano. Number two, one must belong to a zone or a unit where your name must be in their register. If your name is not there, then you are not one of them. You are not one of us. It's not IPOB just on surface like that. We have rules and regulations that we abide by. Number three, you must take IPOB out of allegiance. I mean, line by line, with no omission of any comma or full stop. Meaning, every word must be read out. Nobody can omit anything for you. You must read every bit of it. That's the oath I took. And that's the oath millions of us take. There is no exception. Nobody is giving preference in the oath. Number four, you must attend zonal or unit meetings and events. Number five, you must be a financial member. By this I mean, you must be financially up to date with your monthly donations. Not when you pay for two months monthly donation for a whole year, then you claim to be an IPOB member. That is not correct. You must pay your monthly dues every month. I do pay my monthly dues. I'm up to date. I've paid for my December monthly dues. Number six, payments of all IPOB compulsory levies, especially your freedom and cultural levy, also known as defense fund. This payment is paid only once. Remember to collect your receipts as evidence of payment for future reference. You must abide by, I number seven, you must abide by IPOB command and control structure laid down by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onye Ndumazi Namdekano. Nothing outside that. Number eight, you must abide by IPOB code of conduct. If you don't have one, ask your coordinator. Because when you take up an appointment, they have rules and regulations that they will tell you, read through. Do you want to belong with us? Go through it. If you say yes, then you sign. We'll take a copy and we'll give you original. It's like that. The same applies to IPOB. So we must all abide by it. Once you fulfill the above conditions, you can then proudly call yourself an IPOB family member. Outside this, you are not one of us yet. So when anybody tells you that they are IPOB, ask them if they have fulfilled all these criteria. Or else, don't listen to them. They are not one of us. Now that we have an approved ESN account, coordinators around the world should try and make sure that the ESN funds contributed by members are remitted to the approved ESN account with JP Morgan Chase Bank and no other account. Don't tell me you forgot. Don't tell me you didn't hear when it was announced. No. Pay it to the right account or else you are working against us. We all should endeavor not to allow ourselves to be distracted because that is what exactly the enemies are looking for. Remove them from the main call, remove them from what is teased, remove them from what is supposed to be, and let's give them something else to be talking about. We will be busy talking about something else, why the main event is there, willing away. That is exactly what the enemies are doing. 
And we should not give them that opportunity. We are here to restore Biafra. And Biafra we must restore. Our fathers have done their own part. Now the baton has been handed over to us. We must deliver this baton till the end. We must take it up and hand it over and say, yes, that we have completed the incomplete business. Without that, we have not achieved anything whatsoever. Nothing. That is why we have all have to work hard to make sure that our leader is released, to make sure that our leader gets his, gets his food, make sure that our leader sees his doctors, and they should stop taking this blood they are taking from him for goodness sake. This is what our focus should be. This is what we all should be working hard and talking, talking to people, including our enemies. If you don't talk, nobody will hear you. They know what is happening, but they want us to speak. And it's our responsibility to do that. IPOB family members around the world Bia friends, friends of Bia and lovers of freedom, join us in what we are shouting at. Join us to make sure that our leader, that the DSS will allow our leaders to see his doctors. Join us so that they will stop taking the blood every day from our leader. Join us so that the court, the DSS, we carry out what the court said that she do. They should stop maltreating our leader because we are not going to let go. And finally, I want every one of us please to remember our leader in our prayers so that he will come out and join us again. Remember those that are in prison, our children that they are picking up every now and then. Remember them in prayers. And our legal team. And all their friends that are working in truth and honesty, not disabled to us. But especially, we should not allow ourselves to be distracted. Because that's exactly what the enemies are looking for. That's what they are working towards. But we should not allow them. We should remain focused until the end. Biafra must be restored. There's no two ways about it. But we have to work hard. Thank you very much, Mazike Chuku, for giving me this opportunity. All right, my dear. Please, before you go, I need us to go, to, uh, you know, um, repeat this account number again so that whoever did not hear it at first will hear it once again. Please, can you yeah. call out? Yes. Yes. The account name. The account name is Biafra Freedom LLC. All right. Biafra Freedom LLC. Yeah. The bank name is J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. All right. The bank name. Yeah, it is, uh, the flyer is out. I'm sure the Continental Rest must have given it to all the coordinators. In case anybody have any question, they should ask their uh, financial officers or their coordinators. The flyers are everywhere. Please, people should not pay to any other account. This is the account approved by IPOB leadership. If you pay to the other account, it means they are not with us. Amanda Nezi. Beautiful.